Well, the most important thing about living here in the Northwest is the connection with the water in the mountains. And the proposed elevated walkway will give people access to both, you know, offering a transcendent experience of seeing the water and the mountains at the same time. Seattle has one of the great harbors in the world. Elliott Bay is glorious. But the trouble is when you're down at street level, you really can't appreciate it. There's buildings next to you, you're near the street. I mean, you're really down away from the water. You really can't experience the water or even see the water in most of the areas. One reason I'm so attracted to this effort is I've been in New York City and I've been on the High Line and I was completely wowed by it. All of a sudden, I could see the river. I was above the, the road, I was above the noise, and I could experience the city in a very new way, and, ex and experience the environment in a very new way. I think we can have that here in Seattle. Initiative 123 is not about saving the old viaduct. That has to go, it's not safe. If there's a big earthquake, it would fall. We're talking about creating a new structure, a safe structure, an earthquake-proof structure that would give us the views that now people only have when they're driving at 15 miles per hour on top of the current viaduct. One of the reasons the viaduct was taken down was to reconnect the city with the natural environment. And this would be the jewel of it all because it would allow people to have that connection. Now you could walk it and experience and hear the, the water, experience the smells and the sounds. I support Initiative 123 for this elevated walkway, and I hope all of you will fill out your ballots and get it in by the deadline. Please support Initiative 123.